Welcome to Click for Appointment video series. In this video, we are explaining about invoice management or billing, billing in Click for Appointment app using laptop and desktop. We cover following topics, how to create a new invoice, editing an existing invoice, handling partial payments, like uh, some part using the cash and some part using the UPA or any other mode of payment. Printing the invoice, sharing the invoice, and uh, daily collection, and uh, giving the patient level invoices and payments. Once you log into the application using your username and password, in the left side navigation, you see these invoices. Let's say in case if you have created any invoice for the day, you'll see that invoice is getting displayed by default with the today's date as the range. Uh, let's create a new invoice. Click on this invoice. We have three different types of invoices, non-GST, GST, and pharmacy related invoices. So I will select non-GST invoice. Here, you can enter the patient name. Let's say in case if the patient is already created, it will show the suggestion. If the patient record is not there, you can enter all the details. It will create the patient as well as the invoice for the patient. You can choose the doctor who has uh, treated the patient. And also you can choose the invoice data. In case if you want to uh, create an invoice for yesterday's date or any past date, you'll be able to select the date and you can select uh, what time the invoice is created. And then, so let's say in case if you want to track who referred uh, this patient, you can enter the referred by all. So here you have this uh, uh, add item. So if you click on this add item, it will give the option to select the <coughs> procedure or consultation which you want to build. Let's say I will select the consultation. And then so I can add one more. Let's say this time I will select X-ray. And then so we have done one filling also. I'll select one of this filling. In case if it's a dental clinic, you have the option to choose the tooth number. You can choose which of the tooth we have uh, done the filling. Like this, you'll be able to enter the procedures and then uh, you can, in case if it is needed, you can change the amount as well after entering the uh, details. In case if you want to give a discount of 10%, you can give the discount of 10%, like that you will be able. In case if you want to give just a straight away 200 rupees discount, you can give like this. So that way it will calculate the discounted amount and you'll be able to save it. So here, once uh, everything is calculated, you verified, uh, you can choose the payment mode. Let's say patient is paying by the cash. Right. So I will explain the partial payment. Let's say payment is uh, around uh, 500 rupees through the cash. You can enter uh, in the pay now 500 rupees. And then you click on this save. This is the scenario where we have done the partial payment. Okay. So here, once you are done with the partial payment, it will show like uh, the what is the amount paid and then the what is the amount which is pending. So there are two cases. One is like the patient can pay the remaining amount on the same day or the patient will come uh, sometime later and then so pay the remaining amount. Maybe in the second setting or in the second visit, patient will be paying. In that case, you can straight away give the print invoice where it will show the what is the total amount and what is the balance amount as well. So that way, patient also very clear saying, okay, total amount and what is the amount that they need to pay in the next visit. So, and the staff also very clear. So now in case if uh, the patient is going to pay tomorrow, then let's say you'll be selecting the patient, searching the patient when they come to the clinic. So the moment you search and open the patient, there will be an indicator saying you have an invoice balance of 820. Even in case your staff forgotten about this invoice, they will be able to see this one. And then so straight away go to these payments. It will show which invoice is having the pending. 
it will clearly show then so here you can select okay payment is done through the UPI and amount which the payment done by the patient is this much let's you just save the page so now the payment is very clear I'll go back to the invoices page once again so let's say we have done this invoice today and the payment is like let's say done through the cash 500 rupees UPI to the UPI it is 820 rupees you'll be able to clearly know this invoice how the payment is done and also here it will give you the summary by which mode that the amount is received how much amount is received let's say cash is 2500 UPI is 820 and total is this much so for the staff it will be very useful where they don't have to struggle to find out how much cash, how much UPI, and how much or say card payment are done for the day. So you'll be able to get the complete summary in a click of a button. Now, if I open this invoice, the patient once again, and go to this invoice section, I'll be able to see all the payment history, all the, uh, the bills details for the patient. And also, in case if you want to generate, sometime what happens, patient want to uh, have the consolidated uh, uh, bill details. You can click on this generate invoice. Let's say I want to generate the invoice starting from month, beginning to till date. So then you click on this generate invoice. Here it comes like this. It will print the invoice number, what procedure and amount. And also the receipts also will be displayed like this. Now I will go back to these invoices. So we have seen how the, uh, the print works. Let me show it once again. So we see this print template can be designed based on your prescription pad or the lettered soft copy which you have so that way it will carry the same kind of a branding of your clinic even while you are printed printing that invoice in the clinic or you are sharing as a soft copy let's say you can even include the signature seal and signature also in the invoice generated invoice so this is like while you are printing it. Let's say you don't want to print, but you want to share this as a soft copy. You click on this invoice as again, go to this particular invoice, select this share invoice. When you select the share invoice, you have the default notification and WhatsApp from the clinic. You click on this WhatsApp from the clinic, it will give you the message, formatted message. You can click on this send WhatsApp. So when you click on this send WhatsApp, when you click on that uh, send WhatsApp, you will land in this uh, say web interface where you have this continue to chat. It will copy the patient phone and uh, the message to be sent to the patient. You click on this continue chat, it will copy the message to the WhatsApp and then so you just need to click on the send button. So this is how you will be able to handle uh, the invoice or billing for your clinic in a very simplified and a streamlined manner. In case if we have any queries, please reach out to us using the number which is displayed on the screen. Once again, thank you very much for watching the video.